Tennis Preacher, the prophet, the psychic, coming back at you again with another video. Oh man, I got to do a part two to the reason why I favor uh, the, the Djokovic over Nadal. Man, I'm going to tell y'all people, I may have to start raising money for the... Uh, for the Alzheimer's and the Dementia Foundation because they need to find a cure for that disease because I'm telling you, man, that disease, man, is making people forget stuff. You lose your memory. That's a deadly disease. And those the Dow fans, Lord have mercy, they're getting that Alzheimer's. They're getting that dementia. They can't remember how... How the uh, the Djokovic used to beat Nadal, and they got this new thing now. I got to get these Nadal fans right. See the Federal fans. See, you know one thing I like. The thing I like about the Djokovic being back, he can he can speak for himself now. His action can speak for himself now. About six months ago, I was in an argument when I was talking about the the Djokovic greatness. The Federal fans they felt threatened because I told him, y'all remember? I'm not saying I. I wasn't saying that Djokovic was greater than Federer, but I, but I said, don't y'all remember just three years ago, people were saying that the Djokovic was the best they ever seen. And I was saying, you can Google articles and everything else. And Federer fans, they was acting like they forgot who the Djokovic was and how great he was and how he used to dominate Nadal. Yeah, Nadal fans, they got amnesia, dementia. They don't remember the Djokovic beat Nadal seven consecutive times. They forgot that the Djokovic beat Nadal like 11 of the last 13 times they played or some crazy stuff like that man that's worse than even of uh, the Dow beat Federer back in the day but people this is what this is what I'm saying about the Dow fans is getting this Alzheimer's and this dementia they got this new thing Mr. Ramon Ortiz he said, Magic Man, and, and Vivi said the same thing in Tennis Roots. They got this new thing talking about the Djokovic. The only reason he won the Wimbledon is because they had to do it indoors. People, check this out, everybody. And this video is going to be over soon. I don't know how long this video is going to go because I'm in the road. People, I just got a call from the Djokovic. Let me tell you what the Djokovic said. He said, Magic Man, listen, Magic Man. I just heard the, those the Dow fans talking about I needed the indoors. The indoors. The beating of Dow. People, uh, the Djokovic say, Magic Man, you right. The, the, the Dow fans, they got Alzheimer's dementia. They forgot 2015 quarterfinals. Friends. French Open. People forget. People listen. The Djokovic don't need no 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 roof. He don't need them to put a roof to, to speed up the court. The Djokovic crushed Nadal straight sets. Last set was six to one. He beat Nadal. Forget the Monte Carlo. I talk about that in a second. In the Monte Carlo uh, Master Series. He beat Nadal in the French Open. The slow court. He, the Djokovic don't need y'all to speed up the court. The Dow fans, they got amnesia. They forgot. 2015 quarterfinals, the Djokovic beating the Dow straight sets. Six won the third set. People, see, people, what make the Djokovic so great? And as far as him versus Nadal, he can beat Nadal any way Nadal want to go. If Nadal want to go fast, the Djokovic can beat him. If Nadal want to go slow, the Djokovic can beat him. If Nadal, I'm talking about if the Djokovic is in the super level mode and the Dow's in the super level. Let's say, let's make it even. Not the Djokovic on a low level and the Dow on a high level. If it's super level versus super level, and that's the way everybody should want it. The Djokovic can beat Nadal any way he wanted. If the Dow want to go five rallies, no problem. If you want to go 10, no problem. If you want to go 50, we can go 50 rallies, no problem. See, Federer, for Federer to beat uh, uh, Nadal, for example, if Federer faced Nadal in the final of this U.S. Open, Federer got to do that one-two punch. Now, he can do it. He's beaten Nadal the last four times on the hard court. But Federer has just one way, really, of beating Nadal. It got to be that one-two, a one-two-three at the most, and he got to be on cue and on the game. He, he got to make things happen fast. Like, that's how he beat Nadal at Shanghai. Federer made it happen fast. But that's just one way of beating Nadal. But the Djokovic got a thousand ways. He can beat Nadal slow, 
fast, medium, to the west, the east, the north, northwest, east, south, north, whatever. So, people, y'all, man, come on, man. The Djokovic don't need no roof. And so I guess, I guess he needed a roof to win the uh, Cincinnati Masters. I guess he needed a roof to, to, to beat Nadal seven uh, consecutive times. Did he need a roof for that? Did he need a roof to beat Nadal 11 out of the last 13 times they played? Well, I guess it's more now. Since he, um, I, well, I guess the since that he beat Nadal in the Wimbledon, I'm not even counting that out of the, uh, in the 11 out of 13 statistics. So, what are y'all saying, man? Come on, man. Y'all, y'all got to, I mean, that's all right if y'all want to, I mean, you don't have to use an excuse. See, listen, let me help the Nadal fans out. I'm going to tell you, see, the Dow fans, y'all don't have to use some phony, untruthful excuse like the roof. Because that's bad. The Djokovic doesn't need a roof. He beat the Dow at the French Open on, a slow, on the slowest, of course. So the roof argument is out of the, it, the roof, we throwing the roof argument out of the roof. All right? Now. Yeah, the Djokovic called me, say, Djok the Djokovic say he don't need no roof. He say he'll beat Nadal. Nadal want to play on the street. He'll beat him on the street. If he want to play in the park, he'll beat him in the park. If he want to play on the grass, not the Wimbledon grass. If he want to play in the grass out here in the park. I'm, I'm, I'm up in Silmar, California right now. I'm in a park right now, recreational park. He said, the Djokovic said, I beat him down in Silmar, California right now. Anywhere he want to get beat. That's basically the Djokovic called me. He said, those are Dow fans trying to create this roof thing. And also, remember I told y'all, I told Federal fans this. People, one of the worst, I guess straight sets at the French Open, but people, y'all need to go back. Watch the 2013 Monte Carlo, people. The Djokovic crushed Nadal. People crushed him. Could have beat him six. Oh, I think he gave Nadal a cup of games, man. I mean, crush the Dow. Watch it. 2013 Monte Carlo. So this is nothing new. People tell me the, the Dow fans, y'all need to stop this. Talk about the Djokovic need a roof. He don't need he doesn't need a roof to beat Nadal. He can beat Nadal. If the Djokovic is in that super level, he can beat Nadal any time of the day and anywhere. Okay? Let me see if there anything else. Yeah, and I got a, I have a couple, I got three questions. I want to ask this to Vivi, because Vivi started this whole little debate again. This whole little, it's got me all riled up. I want to ask Vivi a question, okay? And any of y'all can participate in this, but I, this is for Vivi, okay? Vivi, let me ask you something. Why is it that when a super level the Djokovic play a super level Nadal, why does Nadal look nervous? Okay, that's one question number one. Well, number one. I mean, I missed that. See, I meant to put this in the first video, but I forgot. Seriously, number two, when the joke, when the Dow plays a super level, the Djokovic, he makes a lot of uncharacteristic errors. I ain't gonna say a lot, but he'll make like in that Wimbledon, he missed a few easy shots that he wouldn't normally miss. But only the Djokovic can make him miss those kind of shots. So Vivi, I want you to answer those two questions now. And number three, Vivi, why is it that when a super level the Djokovic play a super level Nadal, why is the Djokovic so calm and so relaxed? Even if it's close, he's like no problem. I just want to, you know, I'm not just, I just, I'm just asking, why is that? I mean, I'm just, if somebody can tell me that. Though, if somebody can answer those three questions, those, those three questions, why does Nadal sort of look nervous? So that he get nervous more against the Djokovic that nobody else can make Nadal nervous like that, not even Federer. No, that's question number one. Question number two is why is it that when a super level the Djokovic play a super level Nadal, Nadal makes sometimes, not a lot, but he makes these, uh, it could be a few, uncharacteristic, unforced errors, okay? Vivi, I want you to answer the questions now. Get in the comments there. I want you to answer them. And number three, why is the Djokovic just so, this super level the Djokovic, when he plays a super level Nadal, why is he just so calm? Just so relaxed. Just like this is no problem. 
questions. Cause somebody, eh, eh, Vivi, if you can't answer the question, can you please, cause somebody please, Federal fan, Nadal fan, tennis fan, basketball fan, hockey fan, boxing fan, cause some sports fan answer that question for me. If the Djokovic ain't what I said, he is when he plays the Dow. Cause somebody please answer that question so I won't be so confused about favoring the Djokovic over the Dow. A super level the Djokovic. Now, let me make that clear. A super level the Djokovic over a super level the Dow. Okay, people. Tennis preacher. Tennis prophet. Hey, the U.S. Open gonna be fun. It's gonna be exciting now. Tennis psychic signing off. Have a good one.